Hi folks, Puffin here. Thanks for watching. It's February 20th, 2021, and here's the morning news. Well, this is from Google. I looked at my Google page, and the top news was about Gina Carano gives her first one-on-one -on -one interview. I think the news story might have been from Dateline. I didn't click it. But uh, the second news story was after the winter storm in Texas, some Texas homeowners owe up to $10,000 for their electricity bill. Now, I'll go ahead and dispense with that story real quick because these homeowners that owe $10,000 for a few days of heat during the storm, I guess maybe the rates are different because of uh, the time of year or something, but they really shouldn't owe the power company anything. I mean, you've got the power company failing and resulting in the death of dozens of people in Texas. Now, when uh, you know people died in the California wildfires called by the, caused by their power company, they ended up suing the power company. Probably Texas should be considering Texans should be considering suing their power companies, not paying ten thousand dollar bills, but making the power company pay them. And this just gets into the larger issue of when these power companies and other parts of this corrupt system get sued, such as the universities. When people start suing the universities for bringing people back and spreading the virus around, they could end up just sue them for all they're worth. You know, sue these power companies for billions, sue the universities for billions, sue them for everything. And then if the government has to bail these organizations out, why bail them out when you can just buy them? Get what you pay for. It's taxes that bail them out. So buy the, the uh, energy system in Texas and, you know, revamp it, change it to solar, you know, just cut out the oil companies, be done with it. They had plenty of time to spend their resources transforming their industries. They didn't do it. It's time to at least cut them off from, you know, the government teat and cut them off from their subsidies and stuff. But more than that, it's time to take them over, private, or nationalize them or whatever. Don't let them be private businesses anymore if they've gone this corrupt or, you know, they're just this bad. Charging people $10,000 during the storm. So that relates to another story that did make it into my Google feed that The Simpsons hits too close to home. I should have read this one because I'm a huge Simpsons fan. I love The Simpsons. And apparently they criticized Ted Cruz in some way for flying off to Cancun while his state was frozen and people were dying. So again, people should be suing these companies and including when it gets around to it, the uh, universities and stuff, for putting people's lives in danger. And once we take over these industries and universities, might as well make them free. Might as well have them run by the government, run them for free, have good people run them, you know? So now back to the top news story, Gina Carano gives her first one-on-one -on -one interview with Dateline or somebody. She's given her first one-on-one -on -one interview with somebody. Maybe the article was on Dateline. I can't remember. That, not really important. I'm not clicking it. Now, I mean, you know, it's partly my fault for clicking these stories before that it's the number one story, but I kind of imagine it's the number one story on lots of people's Google feeds today. Because um, it's, you know, the story of the moment. They're still running with it. She keeps doubling down. And the way this works is you have troll factories, okay? You have these Russian troll factories that have been doing this for years that are promoting these stories, that are promoting the Nazi side of these, meaning Gina Carano side of these stories. Then you've got these Nazi Trumper trolls in America who are doing the same thing. They're, just think about that. They're saying, making the exact same comments that Russian trolls are making. And then Russian trolls just amplify these comments by like 10 times. So these people think they're real popular. So that, you know, the stories get lots of hits and, you know, they seem like popular stories. You could say Gina Carano is a victim of all this, but of course she's sucking it up. You know, she's soaking it up. She's getting, she's taking the publicity, so she's going to take the fall for it. Because it's what she said. I mean, she chooses to say these things, and she and she's guilty of being a Nazi for saying these things. Now, they want to make a test case of it by putting it in headline after headline, make, you know, bringing, dragging the story out, which, you know, go ahead and do that. The problem is they fail the test. You make a test case of this, and you fail the test, because the test is, are you a Nazi? And you are, Dina Carano, and you are Trump, and you are all you Trumpers, and you are Russian trolls. And I'm speaking to you Russian trolls for a second right now, because I know some of you watch my channel. You Russian trolls need to know that the first Hitler killed 17 million Russians. That's definitely some of your grandparents, bro. And you're fighting for the second Hitler, Trump too? You're a traitor to Russia. 
Okay, no matter what Putin tells you, because he's a traitor to Russia too, you're a traitor to Russia. Okay, you got that straight? Same thing in America. You can think you're a patriot supporting Trump, you're a traitor. Okay, Gina Carano, you're a traitor. You are a Nazi. Like, on the one hand, it's been a week, so you could have thought these things through. Someone in your circle could have told you. So there's no one in your family who's enough anti-fascist to t explain how you're being a Nazi, Gina Carano. Like, that indicts your family, your friendships, your entire circle. Everyone you know starts to get indicted the longer you go on spewing your mouth with this Nazi stuff. Because it is Nazi. Trying to say that the Nazis before are the opposite of the Nazis now. You're the Nazis now just like you were the Nazis before. Okay? This thing about censorship, it's not censorship. You are guilty of hate speech and Nazi propaganda. That's supposed to be censored so the rest of us can talk. Okay? Now, there's plenty of censorship going on worse than against you, against leftists, all the time, always has been. We can complain about it, but whatever. Nobody's like, you don't have Russian trolls jumping to our cause. That's one reason you know that you're in the wrong. When you've got the Russian trolls all on your side, it's not like Russian trolls also amplify Black Lives Matter messages or, you know, messages from the left. They don't. And they might infiltrate somewhat to try to, like, you know, steer it or whatever, but it's not there. They don't, they don't have that much attention for leftist causes. All the Russian trolls are magnifying the right-wing stuff. And while it's good for you in the sense of getting hits and getting your stories to the top, whatever, it's bad for you in the long run. Because history, your story now, makes you feel good because you got a lot of hits and you got a lot of trolls and a lot of incels and a lot of terrorists supporting you. Now you feel good. But in the future, it's going to make you feel bad. History is going to look so badly upon all of you for every part you've played in this, especially you people in the center of it who just stay at the center of it for your own glory. And your glory from Ben Shapiro, that's not worth nothing. Well, that's worth some jail time, really. I mean, that's what it comes down to. You want to take these ideas to the bank? Well, the bank you're going to be taking them to is in the commissary of a jail. And why should you be in jail for expressing these views? What about your free speech? It's not free speech anymore, okay? There's people who are in jail because they gave $5 to some Islamic organization that turned out to be turning it over to ISIS, okay? People went to jail for that, for donating some money to an organization they thought was good that turned the money over to ISIS or Al-Qaeda or somebody. So if people have been, been in jail for that for who knows, five, 10 years, don't just let them out and and say, oh, we, should, we shouldn't we should have put people in jail for supporting terrorists. I'm not saying you guys should be a test case that lets us change our minds about somebody else. If they've been in jail for five or 10 years, let them out and put you in jail for five or 10 years, Gina Carano, because you're supporting terrorists. If you support terrorists with this much, you're making this much money off your support of terrorism, Ben Shapiro, you're a terrorist. Sorry, bro. Like, we got all the evidence. You know, we can follow this up. Okay, we're going to get you for terrorism, seize all your stuff, and you're going to be in jail for years. Do you understand? Or you can change it around. You can start repenting now and start changing your story and join the light side, and you might stay out of jail. But the point is you should be in jail. Maybe those people shouldn't have been in jail for donating five bucks to ISIS when they didn't think they were donating to ISIS. They shouldn't be in jail for that for five or ten years. But if they have been, once you let them out, put you in there, Trumpers, for five or ten years, five or ten, and then we can realize what mistake we've made. We don't need to realize the mistake we made before you get your turn. So you've supported a terrorist, Trump. Anyone who supported a terrorist, Trump, is subject to the same penalty that they have for anybody who supported ISIS, for supporting terrorism. So if you go to jail five, ten, twenty years, then we let you out. You'll have had some time to think about it. But Gina Carano, you've had a week to think about it, and you're still doubling down? You're taking this to jail. Like, and that's where you should be. And that goes for everybody commenting, everybody disliking. So careful what you do on the internet. Because it's not free speech when it gets to the point of supporting terrorism, and Trump is a terrorist. It's been real simple. We've been telling you all along. While you're still out there free, while you still have a voice, use it to repent. Thanks for watching.